I can get, that's that's a good point. If I can get in there without if I can get in there without having to actually talk to Preston, that would that would be a treat. You jump over from the church roof? Is that what is that what's going on? Because this doesn't have nearly enough parts. And I need uh, my uh, LIF. Know what I mean? I need them HPs and APs. Gorf, Jesus. Nina Gorf with the $100 donation says, love what you did with the Nicole run last night. Well done. Well, thank you. Yeah, I will ret I will return to that build at some point. But uh, you know what that makes you, Nina Gorf? That makes you the top donator for the week. So do you got any, uh, got any uh, ideas, bright ideas, stuff you want me to do? I could just continue to do that build if you would like. Um, but there's, there's a few, yeah, there's a few things that, uh, th yeah, there's a few things that I need to work on. I need to work on Nicole, I need to work on Azzy, but this challenge is just an idea that I could not fucking get out of my head, so I was like, I'm gonna do this. But I appreciate that donation, Eater Gorf, thank you very much. Now, one nice thing about this is that Preston does actually do damage to these cats. You know, at the very beginning. Alright, Nicole it is. I wish I had done it on my PC, but uh, like I said, I accidentally didn't fucking install Fallout for the stream. I was so caught up in my stupid bullshit that I forgot to do it. Fallout Sunday is good too, because we can do a long stream on Sunday usually. So this is like the fridge, just like the fridge, except no punching. Yep, yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, yeah. There's some things that I'd like to shift about it. Um, like, for instance... I'm wondering about... Um, I mean, the, the you know, the, the fridge was in a survival mode that he didn't have to eat and drink stuff. And he had the rad scrubbers in his helmet, and that's what we'll do this time around, too, but... So me being sneaky. You still don't understand how this build plays after reading the build. Yeah. We'll, we'll see if it's going to work. Um, it mostly is going to rely on power armor mods, but I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if we can get a character that has so much life and so much, like, chems and so much regen that he could literally stand in a room with dudes shooting at him and wait for Ricochet to go off and have the reactive plates and wait for dudes to melee themselves to death. That's, that's what I would really like to see, is a full karma build. You hurt me, and it will hurt you kind of thing. Um... If that works, then that works. But it might it might not work. <laughs> you should do no bartering. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Because we, we're going to need access to a lot of, like, fiber optics and other such stuff. What the fuck? Preston Garvey is not on the balcony. Look. Look, look, looky. Look. Look at him. Looky. He fell down. He's not inside the church. Or the museum or whatever. Jesus, look at it. Yeah, I'll do pain train too and stomping and, and but mostly it's gonna involve you know race to the finish type of shit. Look, look it! 
Okay. God damn it, I can't quick save. He's gonna go inside. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't go inside. Bastard. Yay! Preston Carvey, king of the glitch. He's. Whoa! He went through those raiders fast. He must have fucking snuck past all those dudes. All right, so here's what we need to do. For, uh, just for this part. Yeah, he can't. He can't die. Uh, he can't die even after you complete the game for some reason. Let's see, do I got any mentats? I do. Yeah, sure. Hey, up here on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. All right. That's not very much experience, considering how much intelligence we have at this point. Alright, well, safety strats, a go-go. Um, we're, we're gonna, um, loot the corpses. And, you know, I kinda, with, with what, how we're set up now, that now that we have power armor, we don't actually need to have endurance stuff. We should have charisma stuff for when we're, you know, for when we're uh, talking to dudes and selling and buying stuff. But I don't think we really need to gather up weapons or armor. And we certainly don't need to gather up leather or whatever. So, I guess that's... I guess that's about the size of it. We don't particularly need a lot of different shit, but... Let's see if I can go snatch up that big power armor that's got a full set. Remember with Bernie, we went from T-45 right to X-01. Now that's the that's another thing, another thought that I didn't think about. But um Oh yeah, I guess you can jump over. A robotics expert would also work for us. We could hack and self-destruct robots without having to use a weapon. So that's something else I should think about. The dead Miniman was actually wearing Miniman shit. That shit never happens. I don't know. I guess I never noticed. Look. A room full of people that found Jesus. Well, we can't do that one. Another fridge. It's, I guess it's kind of like the fridge. It's a little bit like the fridge, okay? But I guess, you know, not really. I mean, the whole idea is that I basically want to be able to stand there and and just fucking wreck dudes. So can you, let's see. Can you jump from here to the fin? Let's see if I can sprint run at it. Oh, yeah. Huh. Well, that's new. That's news to me. Yeah, I didn't I didn't continue with Azzy right this very second. Oh, I'm so over encumbered. Let's put this shitty one in. Yeah, that's that's the idea at least is to get the bullet reflection perk. Okay. Now I have to unequip that. Uh yeah. And we did level up again, but I still don't have access to armor level two. That would go down a tree at this point. 
but what what do we need? See, this is something I hadn't even considered up to this point, but this is a really good idea. Because there's a... At level 15 and on, there's a million billion fucking robots running around, and I could get all kind of supplies for my power armor out of killing them. I don't think you get any experience for it, though. Chemist level 1 would also be a really good idea at this point. Um, or the first Lone Wanderer perk. Hmm... We could also do these to get fusion cores that last super long. See, there's a lot of shit in this build that we could really, really benefit from. We're, uh, yeah, I don't know. I suppose I should, well, I was going to say, I suppose I should work on pain train. Because it it's one of the only ways I'm going to be able to do damage for a little while. Well, we're not, we don't need a damage bonus. But with Chemist, we can make a bunch of shit that you can't make without Chemist. So let's do that, because we might not come back and forth very often. Okay, so there's... yeah. There's a fair amount of shit. Does the game fucking twack out if you go through the door here, or is it locked and needs a key or whatever? I suppose it would be, wouldn't it? If you came in here and opened this door, they would be like, yeah, you cannot get into the back door right now. But we don't need to do this shit right now. The thing to do right now is to go back to Sanctuary and see if we can fix up our gear. Yay. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, there's also the repair box as well. Eventually, we'll go through Corvega, but in order to really do anything in Corvega, we need to be able to, uh... We need to be able to at least get up to where Jared is. And, you know, eventually it'll... It'll pan out that we're just plowing through dudes, but... Deathclaw still spawns. Well, that's fine. Now, you know what's not fine? These blood bugs right here. Let's go the back way. And I know I could go in there and get the uh, fusion core from underneath the mole rat den. Um, but... Well, I, I guess it's not that dangerous. Fusion core is going to be kind of crucial for a little while here, so... Maybe I should go up there and store my shit. You can head in that door. I do it almost every game. But I can't activate the quest until those raiders are dead, right? I mean, right? The Kramer, the Kramer build. Yep, no fists. That's why it's different from from the uh, the fridge. All right, I'm still highly. Well, we don't need that. Yeah, yeah, I can do poison caltrops instead of caltrops. That'll give me even more experience. But I ought to wait till we get uh, homegirl around town. 
Let's see, I'm carrying a fucking ton of stuff. Why do, what do I need to do with it? Do I show any scrap at all? I suppose I could sell that one. Oops, I was gonna fill these up. I can't greet you, dog. You're not real. I mean, yeah, I don't usually have much trouble with having a ton of fusion course, but then again, I usually start the beginning of the game by going through and doing a lot of damage to people. And this ain't gonna be that game, so. Hey, Sean Anigans, how you doing? Yo, dog. I ain't your friend. You heard? Stay out. Let's see. I guess I can probably cook a few meals here. Kroger build. The car the Karma Armor build. The Carmore build. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work. You guys you guys can have all the not faith as you want, but Azzy thinks it's gonna work, and I think it's gonna work too, don't you, Azzy? She's like, fucking wake me up when it gets interesting, dude. I'm like, alright. You got it, man. Let's see. Alright, should we... Let's check on... This. Okay, I didn't find any crystal here. Let's see if we got crystal in the other place. I think he looks more like Dr. Boskanovich than anything else. Except for he has facial hair. I guess that's a good point. Some there are there are a few uh Yeah, there are, I guess there are a few languages which would organize stuff better. Bottle do nuka cola, bottle do water, bottle do beer. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just seeing if I can build the reason that I wanna check this out first is um I wanna see if I can Uh, if I can connect these two settlements before I do anything else. The decontamination arch requires some, some, uh, f uh f what's the word? Yeah, fiber optics, and I don't know if we have any of that shit. Okay, so we didn't get crystal in this one either. Well, if I'm going to use my resources to fix shit up, this is probably the place to do it. Okay. Let's start with the torso stuff. I mean, first of all, this is what's what's up. We only have six adhesive. This is right here. The, as far as I'm concerned, the end all be all. It might be better to switch over to the prism shielding once we get to like institute shit. Because, damn. I can't believe we only have six adhesive. Hmm. Well, 
I guess there's no point in not doing the flames right <coughs> now. What do we need to do here? I think we can... Uh, we, we, can, we don't have the fiber optics, so we can't even go up to the bread headlamp right now. That was weird. For some reason, one of them was allowing me to go to Model C for a second. Did you, did you see that? Want to let me do it? That was really, really strange. Huh. Uh, yeah. Von Newton, good idea. Very, that's a very, uh, a very, very kind idea. I don't think we can do any of this stuff till we get up to at least science two. But this is good. This is what I sort of have in mind. And as well, this one. Um, depending on which I get to first. But I suppose for now, the only thing to do is... Well, I guess we're kind of lacking in the uh, upgrade department here. See if we can get some more shit done in a different place. Let's see, was there something else I was going to do? I did all the drugs. Well, I guess I didn't check to see if stuff was going to stick together here, too. Often that's the case. No, it's the same shit here. It's just the caltrops that we're waiting on, so... I guess the thing to do right now is to see about Trash Can Carla. Let's go, okay. Let's go back to Red Rocket and save, and then we'll go over there and we'll make attempts to, uh, to, uh, do order up. And hopefully that will succeed without too much bullshit. Now, adhesive farm is a thing that we can work on right now, but, I mean, come on. We just fucking started. There's no food anywhere to plant except for the melons and the gourds. We can go over to Abernathy and get some potatoes. Um, and we... Let's see, what else do we need? Mute fruit? We could go get some mute fruit from... Um... I guess we could get it from Diamond City. There's a, there's a lot of places that you can get mute fruit, but... As far as it goes, there's not a whole hell of a lot of places. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to see about repairing the shit out of this shit. There's not a whole lot of places to get corn early game. I know there's there's some spots that are fairly effective to get it, but I think the last time we really tried hard to get adhesive, it didn't work out too well. So let's see about the helmet. Oh, see, the helmet had let me go up to, to Model C. That was the one. Yeah, for some reason, it'll let me go up to Model C on the helmet. Oh, no, it should have let me go up on the torso, too, right? I wonder why it didn't. Oh, because I didn't have nuclear material. Well, I'm a dumbass. I shouldn't have gotten anything into Model B. That was just a fucking bad call all around. Let's see. Uh, 
I don't think I can do any of the mods at all right now. We've got to get to at least Science 2 before we can, so... Oh, we'll make it work. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's see. I need water. And to save, and then we'll see if I can get order up done. Yeah, people tell me that I need to go to Grey Garden, but for some reason I never... I, I, I actually am not very familiar with even the power armor that's over by Grey Garden. I'm not even sure where to find it. Vault Boy Headlamp is the most important mod. That's a mod for f torturing yourself, is what it is. That That's like the fucking Hello Kitty Doom flashlight. Do you guys remember Doom 3? Somebody modded the flashlight to be a Hello Kitty. That was... That was exactly the kind of shit that triggered the, like, modding universe. I can go, go in there. What I was going to do first, before anything else, is see if I can score the uh, fusion core that's down below just by rushing in, grabbing it, and then rushing out. Because I'm not going to be able to hit any of these dudes. Let's see, it's over here. But I suppose an extra fusion core would be a good idea. And brain fungus is always going to be good for us because we can use it to make buff out. No, it's not that way. Here it is. Now if they follow me out, I'll just go up and have dog meat to fight them. It's okay to have non-companion companions do fighting for you if they're just there and it's not like you can avoid having them there. But I don't think you can avoid having them there, so... So let's see. Order up. We need to go through Concord and then out the other side. And you know, it's probably not a bad idea to come in here and grab the... Uh, Nuka-Cola from the fridge. I think there's another Nuka-Cola right there. There's some bottles. We don't need any of that terrible shit. Can't do anything with that. There's some drugs. Okay. Onward. Oh, you know, I've never noticed the baseball hat bat behind the door there, because I always come in the other direction. And here's some gourds. I don't need them, but I could go plant them in case I actually have settlers at some point. Yep, no companions either. It's on the highway above. Huh. I mean, I've always built up there, but I've never really... I mean, to, I guess to get up there, I'd have to either go to the end of the freeway and work my way over. Right? Or... Um, Let's see. Or, or I would have to do the mission. And I could do the mission where I just go quickly. I mean, if I had Aqua Boy, I could just go flip the bottom pump, I think. If I was just smashing through those areas. But I don't know if I... We've already covered so many good ideas for perks for this build that I'm not sure if it's even a good idea to go into getting that. Uh, Lots Quagsire, did you have an autosave happen right there? So you were basically fucked at that point? Oh, maybe it's not buff out that you can make. 